Good morning and many thanks for watching KTN News. Today is a sad day for the country as we prepare to bid goodbye to the fallen soldiers, the nine including Francis Ogola, Major General CDF of the Kenya Army in the country. Today, the military will be taking its own protocols in bidding their very own goodbye. And we are here to bring you this live coverage throughout the day as the process continues at the Ulinzi Sports Complex here in Nairobi. On ground, we have our reporters, Francis Ode, who is following up the events one-on-one -on -one from the ground. We shall be touching base with him a little bit later. But as we speak today, where are we with regard to what it is we know? Investigations. Who are the soldiers? who got uh, who, who are the victims in that fateful air crash and now I just want us to go through some of the information that we have with us right now and that is now some of uh, the soldiers now the family says it was the major's wish that he be buried within 72 hours which will be taking place on Sunday but today and tomorrow we shall be going through these exercises but now let us cross over to Francis Ode as he brings us up to speed on what is happening on ground. Good morning Ode, kindly bring us up to speed on what is happening at the Ulinzi Sports Complex. Good morning, Aseto. Indeed, it is another sad and somber mood at uh, the Ulinzi Stadium here in Langata. Uh, that is the Langata Barracks where uh, General Francis Ogola is expected to have and be given a 19 gun salute. As we speak right now, we are just ha having preparations uh, of uh, how the whole event will look like and uh, dign dignitaries of different countries from different, uh, uh, different battalions and even generals from different countries are streaming in. Uh, right now, as we speak, uh, they are uh, they are in the, in the main area where VIP uh, are, are, are kept. As we speak, maybe I give you a short history of uh, uh, what uh, Francis uh, or Gen CDF uh, Francis Ogola uh, went through. That is, uh, General Francis Ogola was born in 12. Uh, on 12 February 1962, uh, uh, that is in Siaya County, and then he was uh, first uh, uh, employed on 2nd of uh, May 1982, 1984, where he was commissioned as the second lieutenant uh, on uh, 3rd May uh, 1985. Uh, during this career, defense forces, that is General Francis Ogola, he held several, uh, that is several posts within the military. Uh, 1997, uh, Ogola was uh, the tactical base commander. That is in 1997 where he took uh, the command at the Laikipia Air Base from 2008 to 2014. And then he was promoted to be a brigadier on 10th of April 2012 where he was appointed as the deputy air force commander and later and later on he was promoted to be the major on 13th of 2018 he was again on 2023 as the commander kenya air force and then he became the cdf but before that he was the he, he was at the rank of lieutenant general and was appointed as the vice chief of defense forces uh, and then he became uh, to, he became to be a CDF that is from the 28th of April where President uh, William Ruto promoted his rank to become the general and uh, the chief of the defense forces because of his dedication uh, in the service uh, Francis Ogola was awarded several medals among them Moran of the Golden Heart that is MGH and then he was also awarded the elder of the burning spear we also have established that he was the head of uh, the head of state commendation among others and uh, francis ogola again he will be into uh, the books of history as the first uh, uh, cdf to have died in line of duty aseto we are still here just looking at how uh, the preparation are still going on and we are ready also to make sure that we give you as it comes live as we speak right now uh, we are having him books uh, where uh, the CDF will be uh, uh, will be put that is uh, uh, at, the, at the main dais where 
uh, we have uh, different denominations of churches that is uh, uh, on the on the left side uh, you can see uh, there are the uh, pastors uh, the different uh, leads that is uh, the sheikhs uh, the pastors and uh, the the religious uh, uh, leaders who are within the military on the other side uh, we we can see uh, the main the main uh, uh, religious leaders sitting at the main podium where uh, CDF will be uh, standing on the other side of this uh, of the stadium the rest of the stadium we can see different uh, officers that is with the different ranks from different uh, barracks and battalions who have uh, been and witness this uh, very important somber very sad moment where uh, CD, uh, CDF uh, uh, will be, uh, be given the 19 gun salute with then 30 where we the, according to the program the body will be leaving from Mashuja funeral home to Lindsay sports complex that is Langata where we are right now And then we will be uh, having arrival of all the commanders, all the vice commanders and uh, CS and uh, also the arrival of uh, the president, that is the commander-in-chief, uh, that is around 12.30 where the commander-in-chief will be uh, arriving and that is when the national anthem uh, will, uh, uh, will, be, uh, will lead the entire ceremony. After there, we are expecting procession parade from uh, uh, the main gate up to the main uh, stadium where uh, the CDF will be. And then uh, the, laps, uh, the lap of honor will be done by the vice CDF, that is uh, uh, the vice uh, chief of defense forces. Thereafter, we will have a prayer session that is uh, where this, uh, the chaplains uh, uh, will take over, that is around... 12 it's expected to have uh, uh, started at 12:50 uh, and then we will have different speeches uh, from different uh, quarters uh, ranging from the family uh, family members uh, vice uh, and then uh, the cs uh, defense and then finally uh, uh, under the speeches we will have the president of kenya who is the chief uh, that is the commander in chief that is President uh, William uh, Samuel Ruto, who will be giving his final speech. And thereafter, we will have honors uh, from the military. That is from 1 p.m., exactly 1 p.m. The last respects will be done uh, for one minute, and then another one minute silence will take place. And then after one minute silence, we will have the 19 gun salute where. Uh, the the last respects of uh, the CDF uh, that is Ogola Francis Ogola uh, place around one, and then uh, the missing man formation will take place at the uh, at the Langata that is the Ulinzi uh, Stadium, and finally we will close with and the body will be leaving for Mashuja Funeral Home that is around 1:20 uh, p.m and the chief of defense uh, forces that is so thereafter uh, will be leaving uh, the stadium that is uh, uh, within the uh, ulinzi stadium here at langata barracks as we speak right now it's just uh, a preparation for the main event to start uh, that is uh, we will be uh, uh, waiting to see the body uh, all the way from uh, the mashuja uh, Mashuja uh, uh, Mochari, that is Ulinzi, Mashuja Funeral Home, that is Ulinzi uh, to Ulinzi Sports Complex. Right now, uh, we are just on the way, at least uh, uh, all the commanders uh, are already here, uh, all the, the, the commanders are here. Uh, we have witnessed also. Oh, 
Oh dear France is bringing us up to speed on what is happening on ground right there at the Linde Sports Complex as we wait for the processes, the military exercise to continue as we await for the body of the CDF General Francis Ogola to leave the Linde Mashuja funeral home to make its way towards the sports complex where military traditions will be taking place. A mass service will be taking place there. President William Ruto and the other dignitaries will be taking place place will will be present in overseeing this remember this is a military exercise president william ruto is commander in chief of the armed forces but even as we wait for that what what is it that we know about what has happened since yesterday uh, with regard to the investigations that were launched and our team was sent there yesterday this is what we know so far now as at yesterday of the 10 who lost their lives Swale saidi was buried in his home uh in kikambala kilifi county and that was yesterday and francis omondi ogola is to be laid to rest on sunday 21st of april 2024 according to his will and his wishes as the new one kenyan leaders wants investigations done and findings made public this is a statement that was made by Ryla Odinga and the entire Azimio team yesterday as they were condoling with the family and friends and the country in general with regard to the tragic loss that the country experienced. And now what we know about the aircraft accident investigation that has been launched now. The aircraft that actually went down is the Bell UH-1 Eurocruz Hui um, uh, uh, helicopter and the operator was the Kenya Defense Forces that was operating the said fleet. Now the type of flight it is considered a military utility chopper the aircraft that was ferrying the CDF and the other nine officers. Now the manufacturer is America. It is made in America and the production years actually it was rolled out between 1956 and 1987 these were the years that they were released after being produced and the number of passengers on board on that fateful day were 12 nature of damage this has been classified as destroyed because the chopper went down burnt down and was destroyed this is so that we know whether it can be repaired and be commissioned back or not but this one has been classified as destroyed and the location of occurrence is Sindar area Kaben location El Geo, Maraquet County. This is important as investigations continue uh, so that they are able to know the scene of the accident as investigations continue, the type of the plane. And the date of occurrence is 18th of April, the year 2024. Injuries too of all of everybody that was on that, uh, on that chopper. Two are injured and in hospital being treated and fatalities at 10, including the CDF and the class of occurrence. This has been considered as an accident with regard to the ongoing investigations that have been launched and which are ongoing. Now, other aircraft's details with regard to that specific chopper, the Hui, is it took first flight in 1956, introduced in 1959, and the number of the choppers that were built uh, and commissioned as 16,000 of those Kenya got a few fleets of the same that, were, that came to help the military with its activities. And objective was prevention of uh, pre objective prevention of accidents and incidents. Now, the objective of these investigations is to see uh, what they can do, what they, they can put in place to ensure that f accidents would not happen if at all there was something that happened that that was amiss in that plane. So, the purpose of the investigation is to prevent future accidents to make sure that they do not occur. And the parties involved in this investigation is Aircraft Accident Investigations Department, the FAA, the National Transport and Safety Board of the United States of America. Remember, that chopper was actually constructed by the Americans. Therefore, when it comes to investigations, they are to give in uh, their views, to give in their touch, because they understand each and every bit of that chopper. And the Department of Defense Office of Inspector General now, this, the Inspector General's Office, office uh, will also be involved in this together with the Department of Defense working together in making sure that this investigation happens as expected of them. These are just some of what we know right now with regard to the ongoing investigations where we are with regard to uh, the accident that happened that took 
10 of our uh, disciplined forces and also the parties involved is the ISO group, the ISO group, the military aircraft accident investigations and reporting. These are just parties involved in um, the investigations that are going on with regard to that accident that happened that took out 10 of the disciplined forces, including the CDF, General Francis Ogola. Today, the military is undertaking exercises at the Ulinzi Sports Complex as they bid goodbye to one of their own, to the big man with regard to the, the military, the man who always briefed President William Ruto, even the president yesterday, saying that he was with, uh, with, with, with Ogola as he also sat in that security council of the country those are just some of the some of the details that we have with regard to the ongoing investigations uh, saidi was buried yesterday in kikambala and those are just on your screen up images of those who passed on in that fateful chopper now we have brigadier swale said who was buried yesterday in kikambala kilifi county with uh, with respect to islamic rights and we have sergeant rose nyawira who was uh, the general's official photographer she also went down a smiling figure and we have captain hillary litali captain hillary litali yesterday we heard from the family how he was the, how he was the breadwinner of the family. He unfortunately lost his life on that chopper. We had Captain Colonel Duncan Keitani as well and Major George B. Kabue and Sergeant John Kinyo M. These are trained officers who were in charge of making sure that the country is safe. The country has lost. The families has lost. The entire department of the army has lost. The country is mourning. We have Captain Sora Mohammed who was equally on that chopper and sergeant Cliffons Omonde and Lieutenant Colonel David Sawe. Nine officers, the chopper went down. All of them died on that fateful day. Today, we are going through the exercise at the, uh, at the Ulinzi Sports Complex as the military goes through its traditions in bidding one of their own goodbye. The country will be taking place with this as well. A very sad day for the country.
Those are the pictures showing Ogola being appointed to the position of CDF, also just being given the, the medals uh, by both uh, the pre former president Uhuru Kenyatta. Sad indeed for the loss that the family and friends continue to experience. But now the Chief of Defence Forces General Francis Agola will be laid to rest Sunday at his near home in Sierra County. Family members say General Agola will be buried within 72 hours in a simple ceremony according to the General's wishes. Meanwhile, villagers throng and continue to throng their home to condole with family members as Bramwell Buire reports. It will have been a busy and unofficial weekend for the Chief of Defense Forces, General Francis Omondi Ogola. One among the functions will have been the 100th birthday for his dad, Joel Oyeyo, on Saturday, before the consecration of the St. Thomas Nduru Anglican Church on Sunday. When I heard the news, me, I was shocked because I was waiting for him that we were going to, in fact, I was also, I wanted to travel from Kisumu to home. So we were waiting just to confirm everything and have the bash. Little did I know that the bash, my father's birthday party, was going to turn to my brother's funeral. I was going to say, when we arrived at the Anduru home in Alego Songa, Siaya County, family, relatives and friends were already on with the burial preparations. According to the family, General Ogola wanted to be buried within 72 hours after his death, which explains why he will be laid to rest a few days after his death. Even the caution my sister told, told her that I know they are the one who, who is normally stubborn. You may bring some stories and all that. So let it be something very simple. So we are provided with that. Mm -hmm. When the committee in Nairobi sat and they agreed with the, with the government and they said within three, 72 hours, we said, it's okay. Because that was his wish. Mm. At the army, he was the total general, giving orders and instructions to the military. But back in the village, he was just a humble, privileged man with the aim of empowering his community. That general business is not in his, his mind. Any time I would visit them, general would serve me. He runs to the kitchen. I tell him, no, now you are a big man. You need to, to sit. He would run, go to the kitchen, get me some food. He didn't care that he's a general. He treated us like a normal human being. He could give money to anybody, either old mse, old mama, even the young people. Mm. So a number of people loved him. And right now, as a community, as a home, we have lost a very instrumental person who has been of great assistance to each one of us. The remains of the late General Ogola are expected in the village on Sunday morning for a brief church service at his St. Thomas S.E.K. Church, a church he played a key role in its completions. General Ogola also wished not to be buried in a coffin, a wish that we wait to see if it will be fulfilled. Bramwell Bire, Kete News, Alego Songa, in Siaya County. Our thoughts and condolences to the family. But now we go straight to Ulinzi Sports Complex, where our reporter, Ode Francis, is there to bring us up to speed on where we are. Good morning to you, Ode Francis. A while back, I've seen uh, the CS Defense, Edendu Ali, is there. Where are we with regard to this military exercise that is taking place there, Ode? Ulysses um, Sports Complex, we have just seen that the flags are flying at half mast, both the East African flag, the Army flag, and also the national flag flying at half mast as directed by.
President William Ruto as the country continues to mourn its, its beloved soldiers, the, the, the most senior most of them, General Francis Ogola, who died. We've just seen the family saying how their son has left him. It is sad, even the father saying that he has nothing to say but leaving it to the Almighty because that is his doing. But now let's go back to Ulysses Sports Complex and touch base with Ode Francis. Good morning, Ode Francis. What's the latest from the complex? Yes, uh, good morning, Ode Francis. Please. Having a problem with the order Francis, we shall be touching base with the order Francis a little bit later. But uh, those are just images earlier from the sports complex as preparations continue. Remember, President William Bruto and other dignitaries are expected there, and we shall be going there uh, to bring you one on one coverage on the ongoing military exercise at the sports complex. It will be an exercise that is full of activities by the military 19 gun salute that will be taking place there. And remember earlier, we played a story with regard to the family in Siaya of Francis Ogola. He was supposed to celebrate his father's birthday, 100th birthday today. But unfortunately, it has turned to be a burial and funeral arrangements. But let's just go straight to Siaya County and talk to our reporter, Bramwell Buire, who is there to bring us up to speed in terms of preparations? Where are we with regard to that? Good morning, Buire. Can you bring us up to speed on what is happening in Sierra County? Well, good morning, Dennis. And as you said, yes, we're here in Sierra County. This is the home of uh, the father to the late General Francis Ogola. And as you said, yes, we have several people who have already thrown into this home just to mourn with the family. As we're speaking to you, just behind me is uh, Senator Kisumu, Senator Professor Tomo Jenda, speaking to the mourners here, passing his condolences just to remember, just to walk down the memory lane of how how they interacted and reacted with the, the late general professor ogola as you've said tomorrow we're going to lay to rest this senior most kdf officer who was serving as the chief defense chief uh, chief of defense forces in this country and uh, the service is expected to uh, to take place in two occasions i'm speaking about the initial service that will happen at the nduru saint thomas nduru anglican church then later on we'll have a brief service there remember the church was uh, an idea from the late general francis ogola who came up with the idea then started the construction of the church the church remember, was also supposed to be consecrated tomorrow by the archbishop the uh, Archbishop Joseph Ole Sapit at this particular place. Then later on, we'll be moving to Senator Obama Primary School. That is where they have erected the tents. That is where a lot of the activities, a lot of the speeches will be taking place. Remember, we have, uh, we, remember we have, uh, the president is expected to lead the dignitaries who will be coming for that funeral. We are also aware that uh, the former president, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, is expected to be here as well as uh, the former prime minister Raila Odinga but with me here I have a family of the late general that I will just want him to I want to speak to him a little bit you will introduce yourself tell us how you related to the general and uh, probably today is the last day we've been having here a birthday the hundredth birthday celebration for dad here maybe how is these things happening they are happening very fast you are planned for the birthday the general dies today you're having the, the birthday tomorrow you're having the uh, uh, my name is dano nyango Puapo. my father is the one following the father of Ugola. and we have we have a very great loss in our family this is a family of koyeo the Ugola was serving everybody and is a great lot the function of today was there even if Ugola died or not because he had organized everything, he had a, path, a birthday of the father with the elder father who is going to 100 years to, at this moment. 
and that the tomorrow the burial is the function that was for to be for the church and the church was to open a church that he built in our area he has really served several schools he made water several schools he made all the everything in the schools all the schools are okay and we it is a great loss to everybody in Masumbi as a whole in Alego as a whole and even the support of the football clubs around the whatever he was going to everything he was supporting everybody that is might be in the have a request for a help he really a great we really lost a great person and most of people are still confused up to the moment they can't believe it what happened this uh, this birthday ceremony that we were supposed to have today, we expected a cake, we expected a lot of celebration, but we've just seen the church. Maybe was that the plan, and uh, how did you end up to change it so that it just remained to be a church service that preceded the birthday? Uh, because the general has said he should be buried within the 40, 72 hours. We, we think very fast to change everything to be the burial occasions and the burial ceremony because it was a very it was it it, it was very within 42 40, 20, 72 hours it was within the 20 40, 72 hours so we decided to change everything to be on a burial services and everything yes there is a high level of uh, security around as a family this is, this is something that is happening very fast. It's like the military is taking over everything and we understand there is a village set up where the, 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 the family wants to partake fully in the funeral arrangements of their son. Maybe, are you feeling kind of left out or have been involved fully? No, it's, it's good that the military have accepted our request of burying within the 40, 72 hours. So they have to join us within the burial and organize their things. We don't want to interfere with them in any organization that have make arrangements. So they organize their thing within their time and we make the time to be fitted for burial and do all everything for us and for the military. We won't interfere with their, uh, with their organization. Sorry for the loss and uh, we pray that may God give you a tough heart this particular time it is not an easy occasion especially when someone you're expecting home is now coming back home in a state that uh, you'll never have to talk to him again aseto those are some of the sentiments by the family here it is they are reading from the same script it is not an easy thing they were expecting the general home to celebrate with the family the one the jubilee celebration of the dad who has turned 100 years yesterday as you said we are speaking to the dad and he was telling us he has nothing really to say about the accident he's just leaving it to the almighty god that has been his uh, that has been his strongest pillar the brother that is hezekiah or yesterday told us his father was a man who always guarded his word same, same his word same to the general you remember the general could only speak when it was necessary but something i have to tell you that this particular area initially people never used to give other people money but uh, they are saying there was some allegation that maybe if you give someone money they will do some black magic onto you but the general as a strong christian believer he never trusted in those things they are saying that he never thought uh, this is a young kid who does not deserve to be given money or this is an elderly person who might opt for other things but the general was always generous with each and every person who approached him for the support. I also have to inform you that some of the dignitaries who are here in, are being led by the PS Interior, that is uh, Dr. Raymond Omolo, together with the CSICT, that is uh, Elu Dowalo, and then we have a host of uh, MPs from the region. I'm, just, I'm seeing uh, my friend from GAME, that is Elisha Diambo, and we're also being told that the governor of the, of, of the Great Sierra County, that is uh, uh, James Orengo, is on his way to this particular place so we are going to expect a busy afternoon from 
this particular place, we will be heading to the church where the first service, a small service, will be taking place. That is at uh, St. Thomas Nduru Anglican Church. We'll also be painting a picture of the preparations there, what has been done, what is yet to be done. We'll be speaking to the church leadership there to give us a brief of where they are as a matter as preparation for the burial of the late general are concerned. Later on, we'll also be visiting that uh, that Saint, that Senator, Senator Obama Primary School, where has been fully taken charge by the military. So, uh, the, that is a media, media, media Omondi is in charge at Senator Obama. We'll be speaking to him. They have scheduled for for a brief uh, a brief media session later on. They'll be telling us where where people are expected to reach as matter as uh, the burial is concerned. The home to the late general where he'll be buried is some few kilometers, probably three to four kilometers from where we're standing here. That is in Nia. That is near village on the border, almost on the Siaya Luanda Highway. That is where uh, the late general will be buried. It is a small place. So we are going to expect a small number of people, maybe just close family members and uh, uh, the head of state, of course, he will be here, and other state high-profile dignitaries who will be allowed to visit that particular place. That is also a place when we are allowed to, we have been told that already the grave has been dug. So if we are allowed there, we will also be painting a picture of exactly what will be transpiring. But allow me, Dennis, from now to go also and listen to the speeches being made by the local leadership that have arrived at this particular place. As I'm speaking to you, they are speaking to the mourners who have flocked this particular place since morning, since yesterday. In fact, since the time the president announced the death of the late general. So, Dennis, those are some of the things we're following keenly from Alego Songa in Duru village, then later on, Nia to paint the picture of uh, exactly what is transpiring back in Alego Songa in Siaya County. From here, back to you, Dennis, in studios. Bramwell Buire, as you bring us up to speed on what is happening in Siaya Nia, as we continue to even still get our condolence messages from across board. And I'll just read a statement that has been sent by Philip Moy, who a major retired general, major retired uh, Philip Moy and Moy's family at large, they've sent a statement. Remember, Philip Moy served with General Ogola, and I just quote the statement where he says, We received the sad and shocking news about the tragic and aura crash that claimed the lives of gallant members of the Kenya Defense Forces, including the CGS General Francis Ogola, with the family of Kenya's second president, Let Moy, Daniel Troy, teacher Rap Moy, join the nation and KDF fraternity in mourning the loss of General Logola and his officers. At this time of sorrow, we pray to the Almighty, to, Almighty God to grant solace to the grieving families as well as peaceful rest to the souls of the departed. We pay tribute to the General Logola who brought into his office exemplary level patriotism and professionalism as well as personal discipline, integrity and honor Kenyans will always celebrate and cherish memories of his service and hands-on approach to all matters touching on the security of Kenyans and the sanctity of their lives and their motherland. That is a statement from Major Retired Philip Moy and the Moy's family at large as they continue to send their condolence messages to the gallant soldiers who died in that fateful crash. And if we just recap on what uh, our reporter, Bramwell Buri, has told us, is that Senator Obama has been taken over by the military. These, uh, as we expect, a media statement a little bit later on why that school has been taken over by the military. Perhaps there will be military activity there. President William Ruto and other dignitaries expected uh, in Sayre County tomorrow for that burial with respect to what the general wanted to be buried within 72 hours the family says they will honor their sons wish the military says they will equally play ball to those wishes of the general one key thing the general says he did not want to be buried in a casket we get to see how that will continue but remember that it will be a private affair because uh, the general did not want a big event he wanted something small and simple the family there 
people speaking saying that the general was a very simple man at the general he at, at, at his home he took care of everybody he did not believe in myths that do exist he was there to serve the community he built a church that is supposed to be inaugurated tomorrow the family says today they will still continue with that a hundredth birthday party for the father the general would have loved that to happen that tomorrow the church equally will be opened as according to the wishes and plans that the general had before that accident and those are live pictures coming to you live from Olinzi sports complex we are seeing the the kdf the army there we can see uh we can see those are Air Force men, we can see KDF and they are on the other side the split image that is in Siaya County as dignitaries, uh, Cabinet Secretary Eliudo Walo is there, Raymond Omolo, uh, the Interior Principal Secretary is also there just to bring up to speed and just mourn with the people of Siaya upon the loss of their loved one. But at Ulinzi Sports Complex, if you can see, that is the flag of the east africa community that is at half mast next is kdf uh, flag at half mast equally the kenyan flag also being flown at half mast as directed by the president saying that that will be with regard to the three days of national mourning after the gallant soldiers died in that fateful on that fateful day in that chopper in Kaben area in Marako. That is Member of Parliament, Elisha Odeambo, who is addressing the, mem the, the community there in, in Siaya County. We are bringing to you round the clock coverage on what is happening with regard to honoring the general, honoring the disciplined, uh, the disciplined soldiers, gallant soldiers who went down on in that chopper crash that happened in Kaben area. And as we see, uh, uh, condolence messages continue to stream in. Uh, the president did that former president who worked with uh, with, with, with with Ogola closely also sent his his uh, his condolence messages equally across board. Uh, Tanzania president uh, President Samia Sulu Hassan equally sent her condolence messages with regard to that accident saying that she condoles with Kenya upon the loss of the soldiers who were on duty actually on ground to just see how security was on ground and how the schools that were there were being uh, built back up after due to insecurity cases that were there unfortunately the accident happened just uh, around two kilometers away from where it took off from and uh, we continue to mourn with the country today the country is sad it is sad that we've lost uh, great men and women who served this country remember that uh, uh, there is uh, the soldier who was buried yesterday in Kilifi County with regard to uh, with respect to the Islamic rights and it is a sad day indeed we wait to see the proceedings that will be taking place at the Ulinzi Sports Complex. President William Root is expected. Uh, CS Ed and Dwell of Defense is already there. Several dignitaries will be there. 19 gun salute will be given to the general today. There will be, this is a full military uh, affair today that will be taken over by the military hours is just to bring you what is happening right there at the Ulinzi Sports Complex. I shall be touching base a little bit later with our reporters on ground. Ode Francis is at the Ulinzi Sports Complex. Bramwell Bure is at Nia, bringing us up to speed. Uh, Francis Ontoma is equally at the sports complex. Um, we also have uh, Muthoka, uh, who is David Muthoka, who is at uh, the complex as our team brings you the live coverage of what is happening in the country today in Nairobi, the sports complex. It is a military affair bidding goodbye to the gallant soldiers in that fateful accident that happened. And with regard to what uh, we also know, let me just take you through uh, some, uh, the, the, so, so some of the details that we have gathered thus far with regard to the ongoing information. We covered that a little bit earlier. And uh, 
the aircraft at investigations department is undergoing the same investigations that are ongoing the faa that is the national transport and safety board is also on that and there's also the iso group now the iso group is uh, the company that is in charge of supplying spare parts for the type of aircraft they will be coming in there because they know every nut and bolt that went into that plane the service history that will be shared equally by the military that is why investigations are ongoing as we get into the details as to why that chopper went down remember these are the gallant soldiers who went to an area that has experience in security in this country but they were on ground um, making sure that they serve the people making sure that the schools that had been destroyed are actually being built back up so that the kids the children of this great republic that is kenya get to go back to school and enjoy the right that is enshrined in the constitution the soldiers were there on their way back after making sure everything was good they were traveling back to base unfortunately that chopper went down claiming 10 of our soldiers including the general now the general was said to celebrate the father's 100th birthday and according to what Buiri has told us that will still go on because the preparations had happened the general would have loved for that to happen today and now I just want us to go straight back to Sierra County, touch base with the happenings on ground. PS Interior, Raymond Molo is speaking. Let us just listen to what he is telling the gathering there. Because we used to work very closely with the general. We sat with the general in the National Security Council Committee. And we will literally be there every time the committee meets and we share a lot of things and for the calm that we have experienced for the country in terms of matters to do with the security we owe a lot to his role not just as the chief of defense forces but as an accomplished professional, someone who was very humble, someone who would give advice, someone who would not be scared to speak his mind. And we used to consult a lot. The day that he lost his life, I communicated with him at around 10, 11 in the morning, just sharing and discussing and more specifically the mission that he had gone um, to undertake on that fateful day. And when I received the news, I just landed in Kisumu, and I was like, this is uh, not possible. But again, we leave it to God, because he's the one who holds the destiny of all of us. And for those who believe, like the general believes, like the family believes, in each and everything that happens, we thank and glorify the Lord. And for us who are left behind, our responsibility is to honor the Lord by serving humanity. Whether we are politicians, whether we are leaders, whether we are government officials, whether we are teachers, whether we are professionals or educationists, like my brother professor here, whatever we've been honored to do, let's do it to serve humanity. Now, may I do a level with us here? I'm sure there is a way you would have wanted to mourn and bury the general. But the general is not just Wada Lego. He's not just Wada Sierra. He's not just Wada Lua. He's the chief of defense forces. So he's bigger than all those things that we have mentioned. And because of that, the manner and which 
and the government to be buried tomorrow. We have to comply with the role that he played within the military and within the country. But at the same time, as we also honor his wishes, there is a way he would have loved us to honor him in death. And it was the way that he carried his life. And the family has attested to that. And what that means is that we must honor the general tomorrow by allowing the processes that have been set to be carried through. And to our political leaders, my plea to you is tomorrow we are coming to bury a general who, if he liked or the way he had wished, would not even be having that ceremony. The body would have just been brought to this village and taken back to earth from where it came from. Without all the speeches, without all the drama, and it is my plea to the political leadership that let's live up to the wish of the general. Now, to the rest of us, and as I've said, the general was many things to many people. The only way we keep his legacy alive is to do the many things that he used to do, particularly for the community. And it's like the general was basically preparing for his final send-off. Because today, together with the rest of the family, they were meant to be celebrating the old man who is seated in front of us. And then tomorrow, the family and friends and relatives and believers were to be present in the consecration of a church that he helped put together and that wish and that plan that was purposed for this weekend will still go on albeit in a different fashion. <coughs> so we will be hosting the whole country tomorrow in this village. And the expectation is that we must and we expect to receive them with the dignity and with the honor and we will have committed or fulfilled the wishes of the general. Lastly, before I invite uh, my colleague in government and senior, is just to give a highlight of the program for tomorrow. Is that the funeral service will be conducted at uh, Senator Obama? Uh, school. After the funeral service, or away from the funeral service, there will be a small service at the church as part of the consecration by the Archbishop or the Zapit. And then the final rites will be done at the home of the general. And that will be an exclusive family affair. And I want to plead with the rest of us, uh, even the clan members, that we respect uh, that protocol and most of the program will be conducted, led by the military at the school. And what that also means is that there might only be one or two chances for people to speak. And that will be purely the family and the leadership within the military and government. So if you are thinking or planning that you are coming to speak tomorrow 
at the burial of the general. We have the rest of today to come and condone with the family and also to speak to the public. But then there will be a memorial service of the general, which will be on Friday the 26th in Nairobi. We would also want to invite you to participate in that service. With those many remarks, again, I want to say Pole in a special way, the punch is a car. There is the rest of the family, the duo, mama. We are here, not just today. We will be here with you to walk with you through the journey and the things that we can support the family with in honor of uh, the general. I'm giving you my commitment that we will be able to do that. Otherwise, Erurukamano, Yasayu with Waziri Karito. Thank you very much, Raymond. Now, to the family of our brother and friend, General Ogola. We are really, really, really touched from the bottom of our hearts by his sad demise. It's a very, very sad day in the history of this country and in the history of Nyanza because we have lost a great son. Images coming from uh, uh, those are images coming from uh, Siaya County Cabinet Secretary Eliud Oalo addressing the mourners there. But now we go straight to Ulinzi Sports Complex where there is a military exercise that will be taking place today. Their honor being granted to CDF General Ogola, who died in that chopper crash in Kaben area of El Geo, Maracuet County. As you can see on your screen, that uh, is uh, Azimio leader Raila Odinga on uh, the right there um, of your screen. We also have military officers there. CS Eden Duale has also made his way. Uh, preparations are taking place as President William Ruto will be joining the gathering there as we give uh, the fallen soldiers and the CDF the final honors and respects with regard to the military traditions. But now, according to uh, the statement, according to the program today, the exercise, according to the statement that was sent by the military, is that the exercise will see an 18 gun salute uh, given to the general and this is the internment of general francis omondi ogola and uh, the internment ceremony of the general will be conducted as provided for in the defense forces standing instructions number five of 2020 which stipulates the internment of serving and retired heads of state deputy president state officials and serving and retired general officers this is a military exercise and on your screens that is president william ruto leaving state house uh snaking his way through the nairobi roads heading towards Ulinzi sports complex for that event that is expected to take place. Remember, the president is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces and he is equally the one who worked closely with General Ogola in the nation's security council. Definitely a lot that he has to say with regard to Ogola those alive pictures from uh, the president has left state house making his way towards Ulinzi sports complex where the exercise for the interment of general francis omondi ogola will be taking place today the military owners and memorial service will be conducted at the Ulinzi Sports Complex in Langata, Nairobi. That is from 1 p.m. And all guests are invited there. Everyone who's there was supposed to have 
been seated by 11 a.m. And tomorrow, the funeral service, the church service, will be held at Senator Obama Kogelo Primary School in Nia Village. And guests are required to be seated by 10 a.m. Remember, this is a military exercise and time is of essence when it comes to how they run their affairs. Now, his Excellency Dr. William Ruta, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, will lead the nation at both the military honors and memorial service in Nairobi County and the funeral ceremony in Seya County, which will be taking place tomorrow. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, Prime Cabinet Secretary Musaila Mudavadi, Senior Government Officials, the Leadership of Parliament, uh, political leaders, judiciary, service commanders, officers, and service members of the national security sector and members of the diplomatic corps are uh, expected for both events. As you can see on your screen, that seems to be Valley Road as they go up towards uh, towards the towards the roundabout as they snake through the Rilo Dingo Road or formerly in Bagathi Way uh, towards Langata uh, that is the sports complex to finally go through the honors the, uh, of the interment of Francis Omondi Ogola uh, due to the accident that took place um, and uh, so 10 officers lose their lives in that accident. Now back in Siena County, we've seen we have leaders there, uh, Interior Principal Secretary uh, Raymond Omolo has addressed the gathering there, asking the political class to allow the exercise tomorrow to take place because the general would have loved and wished for the entire exercise, the entire event to be to be a very small and private affair that he's asking uh, the political class to tone down on the political rhetoric as the exercise takes place tomorrow remember the military has taken charge of senator uh, obama primary school they've taken over that um, that school and we are yet to be told why that has happened they are we expect them to give us um, we expect them to give us a press statement a little bit later on why they have taken over Senator Obama Primary School. And the same now, uh, some condolence messages continue to stream in. And one has come from, from a retired Major Philip Moy, with whom he served together with General Francis Ogola. And this is his statement and where he says that he received the sad and shocking news about the tragic and horror crash that claimed the lives of gallant members of the Kenya Defense Forces, including the CGS General Francis Ogola. The family of Kenya's second president, let Mzee Daniel Toruiti Charat Moy, join the nation and the KDF fraternity in mourning the loss of General Ogola and his officers. At this time of sorrow, uh, we pray to the Almighty to grant the solace uh, to the grieving families as well as peaceful rest to the souls of the departed patriots. We pay tribute to General Ogola, who brought into his office exemplary level, patriotism, and professionalism, as well as personal discipline, integrity, and honor. Kenyans will always celebrate and cherish memories of his service and hands-on approach to all matters touching on security of Kenyans and the sanctity of their lives and their motherland. Statement from Major Retired Philip Moy and Moy's family. Remember that Philip Moy served with General Ogola together, his personal friend, his fellow soldier in the army. That is the statement from Major Retired Philip Moy. And on your screen, though, those are just live images from Olin's sports complex where soldiers have taken the sports. Uh, President William Ruto is slowly but surely making his way to the venue where uh, the honors for the gallant soldiers will be taking place. That is the interment of General Francis Ogola will be conducted as provided for 
in the Defence Forces Standing Instructions No. 5 of 2020, which stipulates the internment of serving and retired heads of state, deputy president, state officials and serving retired generals. Now, the military owners and memorial service will be conducted at the Ulinzi Sports Complex in Langata, where the president is headed. You can see on your screen that is members of the diplomatic corps uh, who are there. We can see our former cabinet secretary for defense, Rachel Omamo, who is seated there as well, and other dignitaries. Uh, Azimio leader, Rhino Dinga, is equally at the venue as everybody comes together in unison to bid goodbye and to give their final respects to the general who served the nation and put the nation first. Back in Sienna County, you've heard the family members saying that the general was a simple man, that the general loved everyone, the general served the community there, the general put up a church that was supposed to be uh, supposed to be commissioned, say, tomorrow, and the general, that exercise will still go on because the general had planned for it. Today, he was to celebrate his father's 100th birthday. That celebration will still take place today because the general would have loved that to take place. The father is sad is in pain says he has not much to say but leaving it to the almighty because that is his plan the almighty knows best the sister was on his, was on her way to the father's home to celebrate the 100th birthday of the father she was hoping to celebrate this with joy with the brother who had planned everything little did she know that the father's 100th birthday would turn into a side affair would turn into an event that they are bidding goodbye to their brother son and now i just want us to go straight to the ulinzi sports complex touch base with our reporter francis Antoma, who is based there now francis good afternoon to you kindly greet bring us up to speed on the preparations and what is going on at the ulinzi sports complex we know president william ruto should be there at any time kindly bring us up to speed on Toma. Thanks a lot, Dennis. Uh, yes, we are here at the Ulinzi complex and we are waiting for the arrival of uh, the head of state. We are told that he is on the way to this particular location. So right now we think dignitaries, family members, all here, gathered here, they've taken their position, ready, of course, to follow the proceedings of this event, which is the military honors and memorial service in honor of the departed souls in the ill-fated air crash that happened in El Geo Marrakech. So as we speak, the atmosphere is really, there is a lot of sadness here. Uh, you can uh, tell actually from the atmosphere that it's not well here for the many soldiers who have, who have gathered here. Uh, largely we have soldiers and also family members taking their position. They've covered all the stands here at the, at the, at the Ulinzi uh, complex, ready to follow this proceeding. As we speak right now, not much is going on at the podium. We are having... Uh, the MC, of course, trying to position people, trying to tell people how the program will be running, but we are yet really to kick off things in earnest. The church is here. There is a choir that is uh, giving songs and also trying to console, of course, families. So what we expect right now is uh, dignitaries will be coming in. Uh, uh, right now, I can tell you there are a few people who have arrived. Uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga has already taken his position. And we have seen also a couple of... Um, uh, Cabinet Secretaries, Aden Duale of Defense is here. Kichumba Murkomen of Transport is also here. We've seen the Chief Justice, Martha Kome, also taking position here. And a host of other dignitaries and envoys also. We are seeing some of them here, of course, ready for the ceremony to begin. What we expect is that uh, there will be, the, majorly today, the major events that will be coming up is the 19-gun salute, which is, uh, which is what the military are calling the military honors and memorial of uh, the late Francis Ogola and the other soldiers who died in the ill-fated air crash. Then there will be the, uh, the, the, the church service. The church service will be covering, basically, uh, uh, they'll be doing a service to talk and to try and console the families that are all gathered here. So basically, it's all uh, systems go here at the Ulinzis complex. We expect there will be lots of... Uh, 
uh, a bit of speeches from the podium we expect to hear from the president the deputy president regarding Gashago as well is expected to take his position and also address mourners it's a it's, it's a sad day it's a really sad day for kenya and uh, really a sad moment especially for uh, the men in uniform because of losing kenya's uh, head of military that is uh, the cdf himself uh, the late francis ogola so somber mode and we are still covering for you dennis waiting any moment from now to see the arrival of uh, the deputy president and the president so that this event starts in earnest dennis Thomas, you bring us up to speed on the owners and the military owners and funeral service for the departed souls, including that main event of the day, which will be the 19 gun salute that will be given there. And news just in is that uh, CS Transport Kipchumba Murkomen has appointed aircraft accident investigation team after General died in the helicopter crash. We had touched on this a little bit earlier on the investigations that are ongoing and some of the bodies that uh, will be involved in that investigation include the FAA, that is the National Transportation and Safety Board. This is done with the participation of appropriate military authorities now the department of defense office of the inspector general as well will be involved in these investigations and the iso group as well which is the suppliers of the spare parts of this type of aircraft that is the hui that was uh, was uh, it is a u.s made chopper will be equally involved in that and now the, the military aircraft accident investigations and reporting including the parties will appoint a chief investigator who's likely to be a kenyan again cs kipchumba murkomen of transport has appointed aircraft accident investigation team after general ogola died in the helicopter crash remember that yesterday azimio leaders called for thorough investigations uh, to that accident and findings made public these are just some of the the, the latest news and information that we continue to get uh, in our newsroom today but the big story today is the fact that uh, it is a military exercise those are images of uh, the president making his way towards uh, Ulinzi sports complex to uh, so that the military honors uh, and the memorial service for the gallant soldiers would be taking place today the event is expected to stick to start uh, from 1 p.m it is around 12 36 right now shy of around 24 minutes uh, before the event officially starts and we've seen as a leader Rilo Dinga is already there uh, CS Kipchumba Murkomen is at the venue according to what Ontomo was telling us uh, we have other dignitaries who are there, including uh, defense CS Eden Duale who is present there uh, the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, um, we have the Prime Cabinet Secretary Musaila Mudavadi and other senior government officials are there including uh, the diplomatic corps and the other dignitaries who are there, including the families and Kenyans as well who are there to just witness uh, the military honors and memorial service. But I want us now to touch base and speak to our reporter David Muthoka who is at the complex that is the sports complex in Nairobi to bring the up to speed. Good afternoon to you Muthoka and what's the latest? Well, Dennis, any time from now, the military honors and memorial service ceremony for the late General Francis Ogola will be happening. And what we are basically waiting for is the arrival of the Commander-in-Chief, President William Victor. Already uh, several dignitaries, local and foreign, have made their way. And actually, from where I am standing, I can see the presidential escort perhaps uh, signaling the arrival of the president as well as the president right now making his way inside the Olympic sports complex Langata. This is where of course that military honor and memorial service ceremony delayed the general Francis of Ola will be second left. 
and uh, it is expected to be quite a colorful standoff for the Gallant General because just after the president went his way at the podium, about five minutes later, the procession parade from the main gate of the Olympic uh, Festival to the with the body of the General. And thereafter, we expect a lot of, lot of honor. And then there will be the prayer session as well as services that will be led by the military chapter. Thereafter, we'll be speaking. Uh, we have expected speeches from the family of the days of Ola, speeches from the vice chief of the defense forces, another speech from the CS for the press agent, Wale, and finally a speech uh, by the commander in chief, President Women. Thereafter, we'll be able to honor. We can see the last respect to the fallen uh, gallant general. There after will be a one minute silence and 19 guns are loose. Remember, this is the highest honor for any uh, army officer. And of course, uh, the late Abdullah was the highest ranking military official in the country at the time of his untimely death. And of course, we will be having the little man commission and the national anthem. And at around 2.20 p.m., we expect the body to leave for the Masuja funeral home because uh, in uh, preparedness of tomorrow's uh, final journey of General Ebola at his home in Kiara. So, in a nutshell, that is the program then. And that is what is expected to take place for the next two hours right here at the Olympic Complex Langata and thank you very much, uh, David Muthoka, as he brings us up to speed, even with that technical challenge. We shall just be getting back to him a little bit later. But now the president has made his way to the sports complex at uh, Ulinzi in Langata as he takes charge of the event there. Remember, this is a military exercise. He is the commander in chief of the defense forces and uh, as you can see on your screen there is activity as the president is taking place and these right here looks like the remains of the general making its way towards Ulinzi sports complex and we are following up on these as well we shall be bringing you up to speed on the latest as we continue to bring you this coverage a very sad day indeed not only for the family and friends but the republic because this is a man who was in charge of our own security he had gone to El Market County a place that has been brutal with insecurity for the better part of the years but he was there to ensure that schools that were being reconstructed after being hit due to insecurity uh, the exercise is actually going on well that is the inspector general of police uh, mr Kome, right there at this event uh, that has seen the president is there and the dignitaries are there and uh, we just are uh, waiting to, uh, to, for this event to start. That is the military honors and memorial service being conducted at the Orleans Sports Complex in Langata, Nairobi County from 1 p.m. The president has already uh, arrived at the venue. The president is a man known for keeping time. He's actually earlier. Uh, at the event uh, being briefed, just being taken through the military exercises that will be taking place today. Remember that accident saw 10, uh, 10 soldiers, including the CDF, died, two were injured and in hospital. We wish them quick recovery um, as they continue to go through the processes of getting better and getting back to South Kenyans. And back in Sierra County, we've seen the leaders have spoken there, representatives from government, cabinet secretary Elu Doalo, uh, principal secretary Raymond Molo of Interior, addressing mourners there. 
asking the political class to allow the exercise tomorrow to be free of drama because the general would have wanted that exercise to be very private, very peaceful, very silent. Remember, in his will, he said that he wants to be buried within 72 hours of his death. The family says that they will honor his wishes. Today, they will be celebrating the birthday of the father, the 100th birthday, but unfortunately, the son could not make it due to that accident in El Gaya Barakwit, Cabin area. But the family says that notwithstanding, the birthday will continue because the general would have wanted for that to continue. Tomorrow would be the consecration of the AIC church that the general helped put up. Tomorrow will be the exercise of consecrating it, um, um, the, the, the church, but unfortunately, the general is not there, but the exercise will equally continue. Uh, interior PS Raymond Omolo says it will continue, but in a different format and style. President William Ruto will be in Siaya near tomorrow for the final rites of the general tomorrow that will be happening at his home. We wait to see how that will be continuing. If you can see on your screen, those are soldiers taken position the event has started the president is in the area other dignitaries are there deputy president um prime cabinet secretary as leader Raila Odinga, cs edendu ali former cabinet secretary defense rachel lomamo is there the diplomatic cause the soldiers themselves and on your right the split image that is the body of the general making its way to Ulinzi Sports Complex as the exercise that is the military honors and memorial service takes place. Now we have our reporters on ground, Francis on Tomwa. We have, uh, uh, if you can see on your screen as well, that is the Chief Justice Martha Kome, that is the Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja. We have majority leader as well, Kimani Chungwa, who is uh, present. But those are images on your screen of uh, of the soldiers. Uh, we can see uh, the percussion bands of the army that is there as well. Uh, just getting ready for the exercise. Clear indication that the exercise is about to start. Remember, the president is in the vicinity. The commander in chief is in the area everything being raided uh, for the exercise to start behind the soldiers that is the that is the vehicle uh, the military vehicle that is carrying the body of the cdf being preceded by the soldiers the band that will be ushering in the body for the funeral the, min, the military honors and the memorial service of General Francis Ogola. A somber mood for the country, a somber mood for the soldiers, the disciplined forces, a somber mood for the president. He worked closely with the general, a somber mood for everyone who worked closely with him and the country, the family. We depended on the gallant soldiers to give us security, to make us safe so that you and I are able to go about our business uh, in a way that we are not worried. They put their lives on the line so that you and I can continue enjoying the peace that we have. It is something that we should not take for granted. They put their lives on the line. They went to El Gayo Maracuit County to ensure, to look at how the security was, the buildings, are the schools that they were resurfacing, that they were reconstructing, that they were actually going as planned. On your screen, those are the military officers taking charge, uh, escorting their very own, their boss, who is now in a casket, a very somber mood. I can only imagine what the soldiers feel because it's usually a very tight engagement within themselves. Because remember, 
you get in as a recruit you train you go through the ranks you give orders these people are listen to you i can only imagine how they feel because a, a, a boot that is hung is always a painful situation we've even received a statement from a major retired philip moy who served together uh, those are right those are images of the casket carrying the body of of General Francis Ogola as it makes its way to the grounds for the military owners and memorial service soldiers accompanying their very own, albeit uh, in a very sad and somber mood. We are here to bring you the very latest as the day progresses and those are live images you can see that the casket is surrounded by military officers who are there to accompany their own as they progress with that exercise. We are here today to bring you the very latest.
sana mheshimiwa rais kwa heshima niombe tuweze keti tafadhali basi mheshimiwa rais mheshimiwa naibu wa rais mama wa taifa aliyekuwa waziri mkuu speaker wa bunge la seneti jaji mkuu waheshimiwa magavana wakiongozwa na gavana wa jimbo la Nairobi upande ule wa pili hivi sasa tutaweza kupata gwaride ya heshima ikiweza kuleta mwili wa jenerali Francis Omondi Ogola hadi mahali hapa na tutaweza kuendelea na sherehe zetu za kijeshi baada ya misa ama ibada kukamilika Karibuni tuweze kujukumika tunashukuru kwa niaba ya idara ya jeshi kuweza kuja kuomboleza nasi. Thank you.
wote tusimame tunapopokea rasmi mwili wa jenerali Francis Omondi Ogola
Asanteni kwa heshima mheshimiwa Rais tunaweza koketi tafadhali Mheshimiwa Rais itifaki zote zikizingatiwa kwa heshima na taadhima kuu nitampisha mwenzangu Meja Justin Pamba aweze kuendelea na kipindi kitakachofuata Welcome sir Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais mabibi na mabwana kwa hivi sasa tunaingia kwenye sehemu ya misa na ibada Kipindi hiki cha misa na ibada tunakichukua ili tukaweze kuweka shughuli hii nzima kwenye mikono ya Mwenyezi Mungu na ni shughuli ya kumsindikiza mwenda zake e Generali Ogola. Mheshimiwa Rais Mabibi na Mabwana tutaanza kwa kumwalika Luteni Kanali Imam Gula ambaye atakuja na kutuweka kwa mikono yake ya Mwenyezi Mungu lakini yeye atamuombea amiri jeshi wetu mkuu na taifa zima kisha tutaweza kupata sehemu fupi ya kwaya wataweza kutuimbia stanza moja kisha baada yake tutamwalika meja father dominic kaburu kutoka rc akaweze kuombea uongozi wa jeshi mzima na wanajeshi e kwa ujumla pia baada ya hapo tutawalika kwaya kuweza kutuimbia wimbo mfupi ili itupe nafasi ya kumwalika luteni kanali reverend wairimu ambaye ataiombea familia ya mwenda zake luteni generali ogola na wale wote waliowathrika kerika msiba huu kisha baada ya hapo pia mheshimiwa rais mabibi na mabwana tutaweza kuwa na kipindi kifupi cha kwaya kisha baadaye tutaweza kumwalika the principal chaplain kanali lelei ambaye ndiye ataweza kutupa mahubiri na neno kwa siku ya leo kwa hivyo bila la ziada mheshimiwa rais mabibi na mabwana ni heshima yangu sasa kuweza kumwalika luteni kana